switch up too much. I thought I was going to do a spoken word. And as I sat there and I kept thinking, it didn't come. And I was back. And I'm like, why can I not do a spoken word? Well, I guess God had other plans. All right now. And it's funny because I've been working, and at work, I keep seeing first lady. So I'm like, man, Jesus, I done got them to give me this day off. I done switched it up so I can do it. But I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to get up here and speak. OK. All right. Thank you. As I was listening to everyone, I came up with my own topic as well. And it's, I keep getting my hands dirty. Mm -hmm. All right now. I said to myself, yes, sir, why is it that you know better, but you won't do better? Uh -oh. Why not? Come on now. And I looked up the word hand sanitizer. Now, as the first lady broke it down, it's hand sanitizer equals cleanness equals satisfaction. So, like I was saying, <laughs> it means supplement or alternative to hot hand washing a substance or pre 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 preparation for killing germs. Mm. So I stopped and I thought to myself, hmm. Prayer. With everything that we go through, prayer changes change things. And I've heard people tell me all the time, just pray, Jess, just pray. And I'm like, oh, so if I pray, is it going to change? If I pray, will circumstances change? If I pray, <laughs> will life just get better? Yeah, it would, if you pray. Come on. <laughs> And then I went to cleanness, cleanness, and it said, careful to keep or make clean from dirt. And I said, so, mm -hmm. just keep getting your hands dirty. Then I went to that word, y'all want to correct me on, and it said, <laughs> meet expectations. And I said, all right, Jesus. I'm the type of person that I know that I'm capable of doing so much in life and talking to people. And I'm like, I want to help people. But how can I tell you how to live your life if I'm constantly living my life the same way you live yours? So come on now. So I went to Luke 6, 42, which is a scripture that I've had for so long. And it reads, how can you say to your brother, brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when you yourself fail to see the plank in your own eye. You hypocrite. First take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will clearly see, clearly remove the speck from your brother's eye. Come on. So I said, hmm. I got a lot of friends, <laughs> and I'm always trying to help. But I ain't helping, because I'm doing the same thing they do. Only thing is, I got probably more knowledge of who he is than they do. Come so on, they're always looking to me. Well, I went to Proverbs 13, 20, and it said, he who walks with a wise man will be wise, but the companion of fools will suffer him. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Uh, And I said so. Uh, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Why you just don't wash your hands sometimes with some people, some things? Stop going some places. Stop, just make some changes in your life. Oh, and I'm like, it's just like a kid that keeps touching that hot stove. They know the stove is hot, but ouch. I just keep on doing it. You keep on making the same mistakes. But I said, hold up now. There's so many times you can call something a mistake. Because anything that you do, you chose to do it. Because oh, of his grace you and his free, mercy, we could, we're able to title that a mistake. But a mistake is actually the decision that you made. All right. Uh, uh, I said, self, self. Yeah, you know? I said, um, you keep calling things mistakes, but after seven years of doing the same things, we you going to change? How can you expect God to bless you 
when you keep continuing to play in dirt. But because you show up like I do, in church like I do, every Sunday like I do, you feel like you got the right to tell somebody else how to live their life. But just because you come Sunday, like Pastor and everybody else say, what happens Saturday to Sunday? And I might mess up the week for y'all, but Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I know week. And all these days, what are you doing? I'm gonna tell you, me, I start off good. I start off good, but it get messed up in between. If I don't make it Wednesday, that home day, oh Jesus, I better come back Sunday. But, um, Amen. Tell the truth, baby. Instead of praying, we're playing. And what I mean by playing is, oh yeah, I pray, but I'm gonna go sit over here and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go smoke, I'm gonna drink, I'm gonna party, I'm gonna do whatever I wanna do because I can do it because that's what he said I can do. I am who he said I am, you can't tell me nothing. Yeah, but why you not praying? <laughs> well, if you pray, you still wouldn't be doing what you be doing. And if you pray, you, then you think you can do what you wanna do, but that's why when you do it, you so feel so condemned. That's why when you pick up that drink and you go, you're drinking, you're like, mm, I'm turning up, and you wonder why everybody turning up on Jesus. Have you ever tried to turn up and God just show up in every message? I be listening to hip hop, and I'm like, hold up, I don't hear the words, because I think, what you singing? Because I hear God, 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 and then at the same time, next day I know I have a whole conversation about God. And I'm like, well, Jesus, I'm sitting here drinking, and you want to show up now? I, I didn't want you to show up. I just wanted you to be quiet. I, I, I don't want to be so right now. I don't want you to show up. But God will do whatever he feel like doing when he feel like doing. So I'm just keeping it real, you know what I mean? So, and I'm like, and I, I can only say from what, I, what I've gone through, and which I have seen me gone through, you know, and I'm like, it, it comes a point in time when you get tired of rolling around in the church. You get tired of spitting up these demons. You get tired of fire, 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 following the same crowd. You get tired. You just get tired. Come on, Andrew. Come on. Come you come on. get so tired, you're like, yo, something got to change. Something got to change. Mm -hmm. But what a mighty God he is. Because no matter how many times yes, you fall, no matter how many times come you turn on. your come back, on. He never turned his. In Job 22 30, he said he will deliver even a one who is not innocent, who will be delivered through the cleanness of their hands. Because of his grace and his mercy, I'm still standing. I should have been dead. Because of his grace and his mercy, I should be homeless, but I still have a roof over my head. Because of his grace and his mercy, though I don't have the people I want in my life, he still continues to bless me with the people that I need in my life. Because of his grace and his mercy, I am still able to free when a long time ago I shouldn't even took that last first breath. Because of his grace and his mercy, I have got jobs after jobs after jobs, whether I kept the job. He has qualified me for, qualified me for the job. Because of his grace and his mercy, I'm able to speak to anything and anyone moving on earth. Because of his grace and his mercy, despite how many times I play in dirt, he decides that I'm still going to bless you anyhow, anyhow, because you are my child. So, so, I need my hand sanitizer. All right. <laughs> hey, man, hey.